safety plan in place. As of today, we are still under 5%. And of Florida's biggest counties, we have the third lowest rolling positivity rate. Our Rays, watch parties, and this weekend's IndyCar race are all a go. These are outdoor events that will allow for people to spread out. And safety protocols will be in place, which I'll discuss towards the end of my remarks. However, there is obviously some cause for concern as COVID infections are ticking back up. There is no doubt a natural cycle to some of this, of, of a natural cycle to some of this. We're seeing a wave of infections in other states and countries. And here in Florida, the governor's phase three reopening and announcement related to local mask enforcement has caused considerable confusion among residents and business owners. Now I've seen it myself as I've visited businesses alongside our codes compliance team. Now, as I said last month, the goal is for our businesses and our economy to stay open and to coexist with the virus until the virus can be treated successfully or until a vaccine is introduced. I really don't think there is a mayor anywhere in America who doesn't want that, but instead wants to hurt their economy. That's just not the case. But I can't stress this enough, and I need your help in getting this message out to our businesses. Pinellas County's mask ordinance remains in effect. Restaurant, bar, and retail employees, among others, must be masked or that business can be cited. Now that includes the people working in the back of house, the cooks, those prepping the food and the dishwashers. We've cited more than a dozen businesses just this week alone. So we're taking this seriously. Our county's residents should continue to wear a mask when inside places of public assembly or near others. Now this doesn't mean that you have to wear a mask hanging out with your family in the park. It doesn't mean you can't take your mask off for two seconds and smile at someone or get your picture taken. Just use some common sense. If you're inside a public place, wear a mask. If you're going to be around people you don't know well, even outside, wear a mask. Be courteous. Be kind. Be St. Pete. There are many other rules under the emergency order still in effect here in Pinellas and St. Pete. As an example, standing at a bar or in a restaurant is prohibited. If you want to enjoy a meal or have a drink, you must be seated. Tables and seating areas in bars and restaurants must be six feet from other tables and seating areas. And no group larger than 10 may be at the same table or seating area. Now this week is Small Business Week, and in St. Pete, we're all about small businesses succeeding here. We acted quickly to get money into their hands and their employees' hands when the pandemic hit, and because we acted quickly to put reasonable, scientifically supported restrictions in place, we've been able to keep our COVID rate down and our businesses open. And so for those business owners who aren't playing by the rules, who don't care if their selfishness negatively impacts businesses who are trying to do it the right way, the St. Pete way, know this, we will cite you and we will hold you accountable. It's what healthcare experts and science tells us we should do and it's what our chamber has asked us to do. Information related to the rules that are in place and the existing ordinances and orders can be found at restartstpete.com. Again, that's restartstpete.com if you have any questions what the rules are here in St. Petersburg. So please visit that site. There are many resources there. Now this is going to be a busy week downtown and throughout the city, so we need everyone to be responsible. We really need everyone to recognize what is at stake here as these cases rise. And while the governor of Florida said he will not shut things down again, that doesn't mean it can't or won't happen here in St. Pete. If there are restrictions that will save hundreds or thousands of lives in my city, we will enact them because that's my job. Now, before I move on to the fun stuff, let me give you some of our latest data here in Pinellas County, and it is as follows. More than 24,000 people have tested positive here in Pinellas. The median age of infection is 43. 
803 people have died. 6.1% tested positive in our overnight county data. And our rolling two-week average is now approximately 4.5%. Hospital bed, uh, hospital bed availability remains stable. So those are the numbers as of today. So now let me get into a little bit of the fun stuff. So tonight, we will gather over in that area, just behind me over in Spa Beach Park, to watch the Rays play in the World Series for just the second time in their history. That's right. Go Rays. Raise up. Our city team has set up pods to accommodate families and friends at safe distances from others. But we do encourage you to wear a, wear a mask as you get close to others around the pier. And we encourage everyone to soak in the moment because sports really is an escape. We saw what the lightning did for this community and now the Rays are doing it for us. Uh, this is a special time and while it's a unique time, we want it to be a memorable time too. And we are happy to provide this opportunity throughout the World Series. And finally, a word about the Grand Prix. And everyone, let's make sure I got it right. Let's embrace the race. If you visit gpstpete.com backslash COVID-19, again, that's gpstpete.com backslash COVID-19, you'll see very comprehensive public health protocols. And we are, as a city, we're very comfortable with what's been put in place for this race. Again, it's an outdoor event that covers more than 50 acres. Attendance will be limited to only 20,000, which is a fraction of what the race usually draws on race days. There is ample room for fans to spread out along our waterfront and enjoy the race. The promoters have asked all fans to do a self-assessment before coming downtown. So anyone that is not feeling well, please stay home, watch the race on TV. It's going to be broadcast live. If you're not feeling well, stay home. And upon arrival, fans must be masked. The promoters are requiring masks, even outdoors and while seated in the stands. And that's above and beyond local restrictions. And they're doing it because this is a large gathering. And of course, Hand washing stations will be available throughout the race area. And this is always a great television commercial for St. Pete. And so in particular this year, we want to do it right and show our city off in a big way and in a way that illustrates how seriously we do take COVID. And so with that, I'll conclude my remarks and I am happy to answer all questions unrelated to where the Rays will build a baseball stadium. All right. Mayor, yes, sir. Have you made any wagers with the uh, mayor of Los Angeles? I have made a wager with the, the mayor of Los Angeles. Uh, you know, on the, on the off chance, and we certainly are not expecting this, that we're not successful, um, I have pledged uh, to send him some uh, Yucatan shrimp from Doc Ford's, uh, some of our amazing craft beer from one of our St. Pete breweries, uh, and some uh, art from one of our local mural artists. Uh, he is talking about some Dodger dogs, uh, some salsa, uh, and some craft beer from their, uh, one of their craft brewers in South uh, L.A. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, this is exactly what we were hoping and what we really wanted to, to try, to try and create uh, with this peer district is for it to be a gathering place for uh, family, friends, visitors uh, every day of the week, but especially when we had big events and, you know, this is about as big as it gets for us to be able to have a World Series uh, involving uh, the Rays and to be able to host it here in the pier. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to be able to do it. And, you know, the beauty is, because of the size of, of that park, uh, we're really able to create the social distancing necessary in this time of COVID to make sure people can enjoy the watch party and do it safely.
thoughtful about a moment like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, part of the, what, we, what we're doing out there is we're creating what they're calling pods, which are really kind of like a roped off area for groups, and each of those areas is six feet apart. So obviously, most people are going to come with their friends or family, and they're going to occupy one of those pods. So I expect to see probably a lot of fist bumping and high fiving within those pods. But if if you feel the need to go outside your pod, please put your mask on, and let's uh, fist bump or elbow, and uh, and then use some good hand sanitizer and make sure your hands are clean. Yeah, I am going to be here uh, for part of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that, that's the hard part, obviously. I mean, you know, things would be so very different if we weren't living with this pandemic right now. Um, you know, I, I, first off, we'd be going to the games, uh, you know, and how wonderful. I, I think back to 2008 when we hosted uh, World Series games at the TROP. Um, it would be so wonderful to be able to do that again, uh, but, but we can't. Um, you know, and so we do the best we can. Same thing with the Grand Prix. Normally, you know, over a weekend, we see anywhere from 150 to 250,000 people. Um, you know, we won't see that this time. And, you know, that does impact all of our businesses because when the race is over every night, they go spend their money, which we love, in all of our businesses. Um, but we do the best we can. Uh, and we work together as a community to get through this together. And as long as you know, we do the right thing. We, we keep our masks on. We keep socially distanced. We use hand sanitizer. We're going to get through this thing, and we'll get through it quicker. Yes, ma'am. We saw the Tampa Bay Lightning watch parties, and they seem to make it out okay without a big COVID spread. Are you a little concerned our watch party with the Tampa Bay Lightning? You know, we're, we are, we're doing everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen, and I think, uh, you know, we've thought it through and tried to create an atmosphere that is very safe. Uh, first off, ha having it outdoors is a big deal. It's, it's much better than if it was indoors. Um, secondly, keeping that distance of six foot. Uh, and third, encouraging people, you know, to wear a mask. Uh, you know, not everybody probably will, but we certainly want to encourage people to do it. But if you're not going to wear one, and we still would like you to, um, outside, yes. Inside, no. You got to have one inside. All right. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Oh, I do know Mayor Garcetti personally. Um, I, I will say, and I know uh, Mayor Bottoms in Atlanta, um, but Mayor Garcetti and I know each other much better, uh, which in some ways makes it a lot more fun uh, for it uh, to be him on the other side. So we've already been kind of gigging each other a little bit. Um, uh, I knew Mayor Turner in Houston. I. I Truthfully, after the first three games, I was dreaming of the possibility of sending him a broom. Um, <laughs> if I didn't get to do that, I was kind of hoping I would. That would have been fun. Uh, but you know, I, I don't. I, I I haven't rubbed it in. I know that was it was that was a tough series, uh, and uh, and all of us uh, I think uh, sweated a lot and saw our blood pressures rise and. Uh, and now we're celebrating, and uh, it's going to be a fun series. Uh, Dodgers are a really good baseball team, uh, but so are the Rays. And uh, I, I think the Dodgers are going to have their hands full. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about Glasnow throwing uh, tonight. You got to give us a prediction? How many games? Oh, I, uh, I, you know, I, I'd love to say I think it's going to be over in four, but I don't think it will be. Uh, I suspect we're going to probably see a game six, um, hopefully not a seven. Game sevens are tough. Man, those, they, they just, they're painful. Uh, so hopefully uh, at the end of uh, six, we'll, we'll talk about the, how we're going to do a celebration here in St. Pete. Uh, and, uh, and I'll be um, constantly phoning my friend in L.A. <laughs> and reminding him of, uh, that maybe the Dodgers should have stayed in Brooklyn or something. So, but thank you all so much.